I want to tell you a little story about uh, making wagons, wood wagons. When I was a young guy, uh, I don't know, seven or eight years old, I'd get my sister to go to the woods with me and we'd cut a tree so big and then would slice off pieces on it. With This is with a cross cut saw and to make me a wagon to ride on down the hills. It wouldn't go up the hills. I'd ride down, but to have to pull it back up to ride down again. But anyway, I, an old boy back in the mountains and didn't have any kind of equipment to work with other than a crosscut saw and an ax and a pocket knife. Well, I remembered that by punching the fire with a poker that if you left that poker in that fire very long it would get hot in fact it would get red hot way back well one day i put that poker down on a piece of wood and it burned a hole in it okay that gave me a idea of what to do with my wagon wheels because i had had nothing to drill a hole with so I'd go outside and I'd built me a, a pit, put rock around it, close to the uh, woodshed, and built me a fire, got it going and got that poker going, and I had my wheels there. So I started putting holes in those wheels, and you could go in and you could work them and burn it, burn it a little deeper, a little deeper, you have to reheat your iron it. Oh, I guess it took me all day to do four wagon wheels, but at least I got it done. <clears throat> well, a couple years after that, now I'd been doing this for a couple of years, a couple of years afterwards, I uh, wanted to improve on my banjo building. So, well, if I can burn a hole in a piece of wood with uh, a poker, to put a hole through that wagon wheel, I should be able to do that with a banjo hook. I had no other way of doing it other than maybe gluing up some pieces like this or so forth, but I wanted to try a solid one. So I'd get my sister and we'd go and we'd cut down this tree and make sure it was big enough to make an 11 inch banjo hook out of it. Well, I could get the outside real close. In fact, it had to be just a little bit under 11 inches, but that's, it was standard. I decided, well, I can burn the inside of that banjo hoop out with this poker. So I drove me a nail in the center, and I ran me a string out, and I went around that banjo hoop of the wood that I was making the hoop out of. Well, when I heated my poker, I dropped back on the inside of that line, and I just followed it around. Well, when it would quit burning, I would reheat it, put it back in the fire, and go again. Now, it took a long time to burn through two inches. That's what I was using, a piece of those two inches to make a banjo hoop out of. But I got it done. Did the same way to put the shoes for the brackets in the side of it and to mark it off and put them in and that was uh, that was the beginning of my making of banjo hoops <clears throat>